The next thing you'll be asked to do is to measure the current drawn by the circuit. It's quite simple, we have our power supply which is a battery and the positive of the battery goes to the multimeter. This time we connect it to the amps port here. Just turn that around a bit so I hope you can see that a bit better. There. The common port goes to the positive of our supply and then the ground goes back to the negative of the battery there. And on the multimeter itself, we need to set the meter so it's measuring amps DC. At the moment, it's ranged up to its highest value on amps DC. And you'll see as we range it down, the reading becomes more and more accurate. Same procedure as before, take it to, so it shows a one, then back it off one, and that gives you your most accurate reading for the current drawn. We always measure current in series, so the ammeter is in series with the circuit. That means the current has to travel through the ammeter in order for it to be able to get to the circuit. So battery, ammeter, circuit, battery. Whenever you measure current, it's always in series.